UNC's regular season concluded Saturday night, losing in humiliating fashion at the hands of rival NC State, 39 to 20. I'm not sure how anybody that watched this game can be surprised by any of what occurred on the field tonight, as this is who this Carolina team has been since the end of October. There is a culture problem within the football program, and it starts at the top since you take on the identity of your head coach. My concern for this game started from the press conferences you get midweek when Mac Brown said something to the effect of, I don't get up every morning and hate NC State. Compare that to Dave Doran, whose distaste for the UNC program is palpable, and it isn't a surprise in a rivalry game with no love lost. UNC didn't look ready to play, and NC State played with all the intensity. The Carolina team that played in the first half looked wildly unprepared, being outplayed and outcoached up and down the field, taking on that just happy to be here attitude. You cannot stack no-show performances like this and the Georgia Tech game and the Virginia game with statements like, we need to be better with NIL. That's not why Carolina is losing these games. They are losing these games because of a lack of preparation and execution to where a team with a top NFL draft pick at quarterback can finish as a 500 team in conference play in a mediocre ACC. There were eight straight possessions the defense gave up points tonight. UNC didn't complete a pass until the second quarter. Their players looked like the playing surface was a slip and slide, a total failure of executing a game plan. The crutch of saying how many teams would love to have eight wins falls on deaf ears when you consider how many teams would love to have the talent that's been accumulated on this roster. I ended last season after the Clemson loss saying that every game UNC enters at a disadvantage due to coaching and when you show up and play as poorly as UNC did tonight in a game of this magnitude, it's clear that has not been addressed and we're beyond the solution of, hey, let's go out, get our third defensive coordinator in six seasons. For the third straight year, this program has collapsed down the stretch. There is zero momentum heading into an off-the-radar bowl game, and there is very little reason for their NFL draft prospects to risk their long-term career in such game. Indeed, sources confirm UNC expects to be without the best player and leader of its defense in Cedric Ray in that bowl game. From Carter Finley, I'm Taylor Vipolis, signing off for Inside Carolina.